Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day, my friends. Uh, no, it is not Tuesday, it is not update day, but it is the final day of the Pawn Takes Pawn Easter Egg. Today is day six, and according to the E equals MC squared site, uh, pawntakespawn.com slash EMC2, this should be the final day of reveals when it comes to this part of the Easter Egg. And thus, today is the most important day that we've had since the Easter Egg officially started. So today we're going over everything that was revealed in the final day and what we now know about Call of Duty 2020. So if you enjoy the video at any point, if you're excited for Call of Duty 2020, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, I am always covering the latest Call of Duty news, intel, and updates for Modern Warfare, Warzone, and COD 2020. So feel free to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of that. Now, to sort of uh, set the stage for today, if you will, as we know, the past few days have been full of a lot of history lessons, a lot of chemistry, and a lot of secret codes. All the tapes that we've seen so far span throughout the 1960s and 1970s. Each of them has given us a series of numbers in the actual video that, as of now, still don't make too much sense. And then we've also gotten multiple war zone coordinates each day that have opened up various bunkers and shacks on the map. And inside of those bunkers and shacks, we found a bunch of ciphers that we need to solve. Uh, they are known as the Venona ciphers. There's a lot of parts to each of them, and I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. Uh, when I look at these, I feel like an absolute moron, right? Uh, I've got no clue what I'm looking at here. This stuff is definitely no crossword puzzle or guessing game like what you'd find in a stack of magazines. This stuff is pretty in-depth and, at least to me, confusing. But, that said, all of these ciphers and all of these hidden codes lead to today where we now have all the information that we need to continue the Easter egg. So, 12 p.m. Eastern Time rolled around today, and lo and behold, we now have a tape for 1981. But, on top of that, the sticky note attached to the TV was also updated, and now alongside Tangled Web and E equals MC squared, we also have the URL of 11th hour. So now when you go to pontakespawn.com slash 11th hour, it takes you to a brand new landing page, and this is easily the most important page that we've seen so far, because this actually gives us a ton of info when it comes to solving the ciphers that have yet to be completed. So, first and foremost on this page, we have another note that reads, A tangled web we weave. Fisher versus Myagmaram, I'm probably mispronouncing that, uh, 1967. Playing against Einstein's theory, Fisher versus Tal, 1961. The 11th hour, Sadie versus Fisher, 1964. Three of the most famous matches of all time. Chess is a game of war played out in the open, every move seen. No hidden information. Rules established and followed for centuries. Real wars have no such etiquette. Liars, spies, moles, double agents. Secrets bought and sold, leaked and stolen. No one is to be trusted. To emerge victorious, we must be resourceful, strategic and adaptable. Perseverance is key. Here's the one you've been waiting for. Now, that last line there, perseverance is key, you notice key is written in all caps, whereas nothing else is like that throughout the entire note. And of course it says, here's the one you've been waiting for, which leads us to the intelligent update note to the right, which says, security breach protocol, use the following encryption method to match broadcast sequences with corresponding in-field cipher keys. And on this page, the 015 code is crossed out, the 215 code is crossed out, the 315 code is crossed out, but the 115 code is not. And there we see green is green, orange is yellow, blue is red, purple is orange, red is purple, and yellow is blue. And thanks to that info, the ciphers then can progress and actually be solved. Uh, also, side note, notice how it's the 115 code that we're using. Uh, I think that is an obvious and clear direct reference to zombies. Uh, so I'm just saying, I would expect zombies to be in Call of Duty 2020. Uh, we've heard through various leaks and rumors it's going to be, but I think that is definitely a tease for that. Now, before we continue on with the ciphers and whatnot, the big war zone tie into all of this today is, of course, the new set of coordinates and also the new code. And this, pretty much like the rest of today, is the biggest that we've seen yet. Today's coordinates are for F8, and that's actually the bunker underneath the statue on the south end of the map, and this features some pretty crazy stuff inside. The code to get in is 60274513, and also shout out to everyone in my game who was super cool and didn't actually shoot anyone. Not too often you get that happening, but I guess I was lucky in this lobby, but uh, anyways, once inside, you can see that it's basically another office setup in a sense, but 
There is also a second corridor in this bunker that leads to a computer station and this area also has a glass window that looks into the housing for a massive rocket. AKA, this is where the nuke is being stored underneath the Warzone map. Uh, like I said, this bunker is the most important one that we've seen so far because it's the biggest, literally, and it holds the biggest thing on the Warzone map, the nuke. But things get even more interesting. Going back to all the ciphers now, because we got that key thanks to the 11th hour page, we were able to solve the phone number cipher, which leads us to calling the phone number 831-290-6578. And on the Pawn Takes Pawn website on the side of the phone that's sitting on the desk, there is now a six digit code that reads 274058. And when you call the number I just mentioned, it asks for a six digit code. And I bet you can guess where this is going. When you call that number and you input the code, this is the message you hear. Enter your six digit verification code. Oscar, Alpha, Tango, Alpha, India. Lima, Mike, Hotel, Sierra, Kilo, Golf, Romeo, Echo, Delta, Echo, India, Echo, Charlie, Mike, November, Oscar, Echo, Echo, Echo. And then it hangs up. Now converting that message that we heard there into a code, you get the line of O-A-T-A-I-L-M-H-S-K-G-R-E-D-E-I-E-C-M-N-O-E-E-E, -E 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 -E, which is a 24 letter code. Now, conveniently enough, every code we have from every puzzle is 24 characters long. Uh, shout out to everyone way smarter than me who was able to help in solving those codes. Uh, so yeah, we've got all these codes. They're all 24 characters long, but Here's the thing, no one can figure out what to do with all these characters and all these answers that we got. So I'm pretty sure Treyarch stepped in to help. Uh, first, they ended up updating the 11th hour page with the quote, timing is everything and timing was underlined, but we still couldn't figure out what exactly to do with that. So they updated it again to feature this strip of timestamps with the letter A at 210 and the letter S at 310. Now, shout out to Geeky Pastimes. Uh, his link will be down below. I believe he was the first person to solve what this code is, and it says, A cold war is not fought on a battlefield. The time bomb is ticking. With every second, the disaster is edging closer and closer. The danger is real. And that then led us to pawntakespawn.com slash play the game, find the truth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where the teaser trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War can be found. And it's a, uh, it's a pretty interesting teaser. It doesn't have much to do with the game at all, really. There's no mention of any characters. There's no mention of really anything outside of the name, Black Ops Cold War. Then the date of August 26th for the worldwide reveal. So that's right, ladies and gentlemen. August 26th, we are getting the official reveal for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And apparently, it's going to happen in-game in Warzone, as the description of the trailer says, Know your history or be doomed to repeat it. Verdansk. August 26th. So I would assume the game will be officially revealed in Warzone first, and then the trailer's gonna go up on YouTube for everyone to watch. But either way, very, very exciting stuff there. So there you have it. That is everything we now know about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. That is the final day of the initial Pawn Takes Pawn Easter Egg, and that is gonna wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, or if you're just excited for Black Ops Cold War, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, leaks, and everything in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. That way you'll always know whenever I post a new video. Also, be sure to drop me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see in Black Ops Cold War and what you don't want to see in Black Ops Cold War. Uh, just quickly off the top of my head for me, uh, obviously no skill-based matchmaking or I guess lessened skill-based matchmaking would be ideal. I'd also love to see the gunsmith feature return and of course more free content that's released on a regular basis would be a huge pro as well. But anyways and as always if you want to check out any of my partners be sure to use code IMMORTAL on all SCUF, G Fuel, Control Freak, and Respawn products. All of those links can be found in the description below and once again thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later.
Peace out.